Wes Burns and Christian Walton have signed new deals at the club, um, which is good to see. Uh, Stu, I think they're both out of contract, obviously, next summer. So it's good that Town have been able to tie them down to longer deals. Yeah, a lot of uncertainty surrounding Christian Walton this summer, of course, with um, Hlakilevi and Murich coming in. Would he be pushing to to move on, having been on the bench for all of, of last season? Um, ultimately, it which triggered that one-year extension. Even then, I think a few of us thought maybe they were just sort of protecting the asset and seeing if they could get a bit of money for him. But he stayed. He's ended up playing the first game of the season against Liverpool because, because of that calf injury from Murich and had a really solid performance. Um, and he signed a new contract. Um, Wes Burns, obviously we've got this influx of, of new attacking talent in the team following promotion to the Premier League, but um, he's been a fan's favourite. He's been a key part of this team over the last two years. And uh, it's great to see his deal extended um, until 2026 as well. And Kieran McKenna spoke about this in his press conference yesterday, that it's vital that while the club had to spend this summer and had to bring in players to, to have any sort of chance of competing in the Premier League, it was it was important that um, a decent number of, of those that have been a core throughout this double promotion journey stayed and then they can, you know, pass on the the culture that's been built to the new boys and and still have massive roles to to play going forwards as well so i think he's, he's talked about it's pretty much a 50 50 split between old and new now um so i think that's been pretty well received by by the fan base both of those contracts really yeah very much so and aj it's just good that the club are you know just making sure they're secure in their assets because back in the day under you know different ownership and different managers you know, some star players just went for a free because they weren't on, you know, long-term deals. So it's good to see Wes and Christian sign those. Yeah, shows where the club's at. I think that the cases are slightly different with, with Wes. I just think he's such a unique player that fits this particular system. He's one of those players where I feel like if you take him out and put him into a different team, does he have quite the same effect? I'm not too sure. But also Ipswich seemed to be a better team when he's playing. He was so, so good in his time on the pitch against Liverpool. And he just, it feels like such a perfect fit, doesn't it? Wes Burns and Ipswich Town. And with Christian Walton, I think that none of us would have been upset with him if he pushed to make that move, if he was un unhappy with the situation in the goalkeeper department, if he decided that at this point, you know, I want to go be a first choice elsewhere. I probably was a little bit surprised, to be honest, to see him sign that deal. But that, above all, to me, shows his loyalty to the project that he wants to be here. He wants to be involved with it. He loves the group. Um, and he just wants to play his part. And I, I think I said this to Stu, actually, in the car yesterday. It feels like with this core group that have been here for a while... Not only do they want to stay because of the amazing journey that this club has been on, but it feels like you talk to a lot of players and they say, oh, I, I see myself retiring here. I don't want to go away. I really have built something here that's that's quite special. So even though we're in this weird phase where things are starting to transition and we've got half a new squad coming in, there is still such a strong desire from those who have taken the club to this point to be here because they, they love it and they really can't see life in football elsewhere. When players want to leave a football club, it, there, there are a multitude of factors that sort of go into that. And one will be game time. That's probably a, a pretty big one. Um, but it will also be how much they're enjoying training every day. And every single one of these players says how stimulating and fun and uh, engaging and how much they're learning every day through working under, under Kieran McKenna. And that includes the goalkeepers as well who are not just kind of shunted to the side doing their own thing, as as can be the case. They're sort of fully involved with with the rest of the outfield. And I remember speaking to to Vaz uh, during the period when he wasn't in in the team. And we, we often got to speak to him sort of around cup games. And he'd say, look, there's no hiding away from the fact that I want to play, but... I love being here and I'm really enjoying training again and I am feel really part of it. And that's the same of all the players that aren't necessarily starting. So if you can make your second choice goalkeeper feel like they're part of it, um, you're onto something special. And and then allied with the fact that, you know, we're in a we're in a lovely part of the world, sunny Suffolk, they um you know, and everything special that's going on around this club. Um 
you know you fully believe Kieran McKenna when he says that that nobody wanted to leave and I'm sure there was you know a few heavy heavy hearted decisions for the likes of sort of Harness and Edmondson uh, moving on and, and others um but yeah it speaks speaks massively of of the culture that Kieran McKenna keeps talking about that everyone wants to be part of it whether they're regular starters or not 